Turn the camera off on me, so <laughs> and I knew it was gonna be some shit as he said, body. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Monet. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's vlog. I literally just got back in the house. It is four. No, actually, wait. I said it's four. Child, it is five twenty-three. I just got back in. I ended up picking tulips, and we went to a restaurant. With I, I enjoyed it. I wasn't gonna go eat nothing, um, but I was just like, you know what? Let me go be social. Went over there, grabbed a drink. The first thing that I got was nasty as shit, and then I ended up <laughs> asking them to replace the drink and. That one was really, really good. But I wouldn't recommend the restaurant, honestly, especially for someone who is of color and you like seasoning and you particular. I wouldn't recommend the restaurant at all, which is why I didn't even vlog. So, <laughs> but anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning in to today's vlog. Be sure before we get into it to thumbs up this video as well as subscribe if you have not. Go ahead and join the family. It's completely free. All right, and if you guys are interested, let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog. Oh, good afternoon. I gotta say good morning because y'all... I literally slept in today because I have been so tired, y'all. My energy has been so freaking low. And y'all know when it's that time. It ain't that time yet. But I I don't know if you like me, but I get my symptoms literally. And I'm talking funny. I got this bleach stuff on my teeth. I was, having, I was just like, I'm just so tired. Now, I've been working this week, like crazy working. Um, But I've been trying to, like, create boundaries. But honestly, your girl been working since, I mean, I've been up, like, two times this week. And I wasn't supposed to. But I stayed up, like, until... I want to say like 3 a.m. It was like 3, but I wanted to get the content done so I can get it turned in because I knew the people was up. Y'all know a lot of these companies, they be overseas and they typically be emailing me at 2, 1, and 3 in the morning. So I was like, I wanted to go ahead and get that completed. So I did. Space up. I'm definitely being more intentional about what I'm posting. I feel like posting is always 50-50. Like you may put in all the effort all the work and think that it's going to do great and sometimes it don't you know that motherfucker just fall flat <laughs> but um yeah y'all let me know what you guys want to see so y'all i've been flashing so bad so i'm gonna turn this fan on do my makeup put my wig on um i needed to actually do some work today but y'all i've been working on like really planning out my content so i'm not going to rush it i will just plan i already I prepped two wigs yesterday, and so I'm going to go ahead and get... Oh, my God. I'm flat. Pretty much it. I need to go get my car inspected, too, because y'all know. Um, I got to renew my uh, tags. Y'all, the bonnet is on, baby. She need to re bleach her hair so bad. y'all so we about ready i'm gonna head out y'all forgot that i had this in there and i was like oh this is cute put on my sandals i'm wearing these i got these from shein my louis vuitton this is a cosmetic pouch but we ended up putting this gold chain on it so i like to rock it more as a purse as opposed to like a clutch or something i'll put on a scent of the day i think i'm gonna wear this i want something soft so we're gonna do child we're gonna do burberry <laughs> I'm like, girl, what is going on? It smells so good. Baby said, she said, you putting, you, you looking like that to go out and run errands? Yeah, I am. I let me be cute. I said, I look traffic. good. At the inspection place, it's like a little hood inspection place. Inspection place. But baby, when I say there's a line, I, every time I come here, there's never. Um, so we'll see how long it takes. But I'm just praying that it does not rain. Now, adulting is ghetto. Like, y'all, the sky is dark. I don't know if y'all, can y'all see it? it? Look like it's finna pour down. And it said it was like 25% rain. Oh, excuse me. So we, we'll see. We're doing my inspection, y'all. It's cold. I'm so glad I wore a long sleeve shirt. I mean, the long sleeves, cause baby, it is freezing to me. To me, but I'm sure it'll feel good to somebody else, but. Like my feet ain't cold, which I'm glad I wore like these sandals, but I'm cold. Okay, y'all, got my inspection done. Oh. 
get all these people away. Oh, I do want to talk about since I am in the car. Love is blind. The love is blind. What do you guys think about Clay? First of all, from jump, I was telling Bae who the type of bullshit that he was on. The fuckers being an asshole. Um, I, I knew the type of bullshit that he was on. Like, completely knew what he was on. In a conversation, like, if he would talk to her, I'd be like, what the fuck? You know how somebody is a person who doesn't really think for themselves? Meaning, like, they don't, um, like, they just suck up what you give. And I feel like every time somebody would talk to him, he would always repeat what the person said, not necessarily his true words of how he emphasized that it doesn't matter, you know, what where you're at in your healing journey as long as you are taking initiative to have that healing journey but for you to get on this show sir ma'am sir because for you to get on this show and for you to knowingly for you to knowingly get on this show knowing good and damn well that you were not going to that you were not going to get married like that was not your intention because honestly clay gives me fuckboy vibes from the beginning of the show before they had saw each other i said she gonna like him and i said ad was gonna like him because she typically falls for the players athletes like that's the type of person he is never really just starts a conversation or bring something up you know that's deep it was always a b kind of like trying to feel the situation out and to me he just always seemed like he was unsure he was but a person that's not either used to hearing that ass to them or a person who is not used to like pouring and being able to like express themselves i can definitely see why he would be like in his head all the time and she was like no like i need you to talk but you're on the show like you agreed to come on this show the whole purpose of this show was for you to find a spouse it was marriage it was fucking marriage clay so like why did you get on this show if you knew damn well you didn't want no fucking marriage to me personally i just feel like he came on for the celebrity status of it all but just something about that man and not in a good way like to the point where like he's not really telling his truth and i feel like honestly the only truth that he told this whole time is the fact that he was worried about him being a cheater because of his mother and his dad experience and i do I do think that this is truly what he thinks because this is how he navigates his relationships. But this is my issue that I had because see, Clay attached to AD because AD is a poor and I recognize that shit because I feel like when you're naturally a poor, people will attach to you for the wrong reasons. People will attach to you just because of how you make them feel. Like they don't give a fuck necessarily about the reciprocation. It's more so of, oh, I really needed that. And Clay would always say, man, you know, like, you made me feel like a man's man. And I would be like, I don't like that. I don't like that for AD. Because I just feel like you're giving so much to this man. Some of us need um, a lot more nurturing than others due to certain things that we, you know, went on in our past relationships or just childhood. But I do think that that's something that you have to be honest with yourself as well as honest with your partner, you know, when you feel comfortable to do so. What is that guy's name that was with the girl that looked like, uh, the one, I just feel like they should not have been together. I feel like she should have been with the Mohawk guy. Uh, if they didn't go to the altar and I'm really glad that he was honest with her you know from jump oh my god like what are you doing when he first saw her that he wasn't attracted you could see it on his face like you could see it on his face like I knew see I'm in 11 minutes in y'all well y'all she was so whiny to me like I, I you know I'm a baby like I want my mate to baby me sometimes. Let me be the baby. It wasn't going to work because, number one, he's not attracted to her. I, I'm glad that he handled it in that manner as far as, like, not embarrassing her on the altar. But I really wish Clay would have did that. Like, they really could have had a conversation like the rest of the couples did. When I knew it was going to be some shit is he said, body. <laughs> body? I mean, we already know AD got a nice ass body now. Wait. Oh, I was like, they moved five below. I was gonna be pissed. We already know she has a nice body, but that's the first compliment you give to your woman that's gonna be your wife. You you didn't think that she was beautiful walking down that aisle, sir? Like, like you didn't, 
we didn't see the same thing because she did look pretty everybody talking about she had a fashion over dress on i mean i don't care like i don't give a fuck you look she looked good you know all she was really worried about was marrying her man and i really do think that she was excited he told her she he couldn't do it that's what he said y'all when he said that shit i said i know you fucking lying I know from her, I know she was like, oh my goodness, because honestly, I do think AD would have been good for him. And I feel like he needs a woman that is sure of herself, that is confident in herself, that is able to pour and share her feelings. He needs someone to know that that is going to, like, like that is okay. And I feel like the women in his life, he gets them for looks primarily because all he was focused on from jump was looks. And so I feel like you're not getting a person based off of how they treat you or because, you know, their heart out, you know, in the relationships that he's been in. Because clearly they ain't working. He said, don't nobody pour into me. He said, no one ever chooses me. And then you sit there and you don't even choose the girl that chooses you y'all tell me what you think because this shit got me like blown i do think she deserves way more than what she got but i do love his mother like clay's mother the way that she read his father the way that she ate up the words that she provided him and it was so fucking graceful like it was so graceful like she read him to the t and said no accountability oh the couple that I knew was going to get married got married. I knew that they were going to be the perfect couple. Not to say perfect, because when I say perfect, I don't mean like no arguments or nothing, no disagreements. I just knew that they were going to be a really good match was the um, Hispanic girl and that guy with the red hair. Like, I knew that they were going to be really good. And you can feel the love when they talk to each other. Like, you can see it. You know what I mean? Like, it's there. And he is open to really, like, learning her. She's open to learning him. And that's really how a relationship should be it's cold oh my gosh oh this is what i need they don't make sephora for the soul your spirit gold oh child is destiny wow. you my best beyonce knows and the love won't die if we can Time agree really to good. play our role but see this love shit ain't no walk in the park you must patrol you like flowers should have bought you a rose or you got a rose yeah, when you get tired of giving your xbox on story mode you'll be a multiplayer pressing his buttons to gain control now i'm just fucking with you i had to screen you you see he froze i'll be the adam to your eve i'll be the apples to your tree i need somewhere to plant my seeds for a family to grow your love language i can speak your body language i can read see honestly i feel i met your ass a lifetime ago that's because your value don't depreciate you a diamond like lisa ray your childhood smile like a little quick haul i got the um laura mercier primer which y'all know i this is babe never changing this i really hope that they never discontinue this don't discontinue. I finally picked me up some spray, but why I feel like one size remade this can and it's smaller? Like, am I tripping? At this point, I really should have just ordered the big one. My lashes is barely hanging out. I forgot some fucking lash glue. And now I'm not going back in there. I will have to pick some up from another store. Maybe I'll pick some up tomorrow from Ulta or something. Of course, I picked up my Charlotte Tearberry because that's bad. Literally did not have any. And I sprayed my face today, baby. When I say I had drops all on my face because it was literally the bottom of the barrel. Like, yeah. But I was looking, I got the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfect Me Powder. I only got a mini quantity of it. I would say grab the bigger one. But for me, I want to test it out first. Like, I don't know if it's going to look good, if I'm going to like it. But I tested the powder out on my hand, and it was very, very smooth. And I wonder if there's like a little pad in here, because I am going to try to use it right now. I should have just opened it from the top. Yeah. I think they put this in there backwards. Like, it looks. Hold on. Like, that motherfucker small, too. I should have got the big, the, the regular size, because that thing is tiny. I would lose this shit. Like, I would lose it. I should have got the big one. Because ain't no, ain't no, there's no powder puff. I don't know if there's a powder puff in the big one either, now that I'm thinking, looking at it. But this looks so good. Like, it looks light. That's what it looks like. Y'all, now I'm kind of mad at myself for getting something so small. But have y'all tried this? Y'all let me know. Charlotte Tilbury, honey. I really like their products, though. 
Like I, I, did, I really do. It's my little mini haul, mini Sephora haul. Y'all, good morning. Y'all, why I'm on? <laughs> so I have a carport, like a car mount, and I just put it up here. It's not a heavy duty one, so I'm really scared, honestly. Um, but it'd be great for like my phone content. But ooh, I'm gonna have to get a car one, like a heavy duty one. But I just want to say, hey, girl, hey, good morning. I'm actually getting ready to lay down for a little bit longer. Um, today we're supposed to go to go pick tulips. But they just changed the time. I woke up and saw they changed the time to like from 11 to 12. So, but I'm thinking this being to put this heating pad on y'all because my side hurts so bad. So I don't know if it's gas. I'm constipated, y'all. I, I I just don't know. I'm gonna figure it out though for sure. But yeah, I just want to see if this actually works. But I'm wearing this dress, and y'all seen it before. I haven't worn it in a long time, honestly, because I didn't like the way it looked on my body. But I don't. Not 100 percent that I like the way it looks, but. I'm just going to wear some slides. That under eye right there? Yeah. It, it's bomb. So I want to go get this. I'm going to go back and exchange this. I'm going to go ahead and get the big one because I'm that obsessed with my under eye right now. So. All right, y'all. So we just got here. I need, she only sitting with two bars of gas. I meant to go get my uh, some gas, but somehow it slipped my mind. So I'm going to have to go get some after this. But I feel like I have enough to get at least close to the house. Okay. She wanted to come, but she was at work and she wasn't going to um, get off until later. I was thinking her ass came in at one. I mean, got off at one, but she doesn't. there when I call you catch me whenever I fall so I have to give you my all I come to you with my knees down and my hands up for you your love is never too much even just a little is more than enough overflood in my cup no cap no ceiling I'm gonna cut these. I'm gonna let her see them first, but ain't they so pretty, y'all? My makeup, I can't stop looking at my face. I literally got in here. Now, it wasn't hot outside because, it's, I mean, the sun is out, but it's not hot. And so, when I came in, I looked at my face, and I was like, damn. Yeah, my face looks good, y'all. Let me find out. I need to just keep my other setting spray on deck because, y'all, I didn't glue my wig down right here too good. I be trying to brush my baby hairs and be fucking it up. The hair, well, the hairspray be fucking it up. And it be like, see, like it's lifting and it's like crusty piece right here. $6 entry, y'all. I think I spent like $40 on flowers, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look at my receipt. Oh, my damn stomach hurts. My side. Let me see. So I want to say it's like $2.50 per tulip that you pick. And... Yep, I spent like $40 a child. Ooh, she don't need to spend no more. I'm done for the week. This was definitely fun, something. I feel like this is a really cute date night as long as it's not windy, you know what I mean? Cause I wanted to get like really nice pictures, but I just really couldn't. Like my hair was blowing all over the place. This really was a hat moment. Like wear a cute hat and it would have been cute. But I don't have no cute hats that I could have wore with this, with this dress, so yeah. But anyways, let me get myself situated. I may just go sit down and just grab like a water or something. I don't really want much. Maybe they got some shrimp. I eat some shrimp now. Y'all, let me show y'all. Give me this. Y'all, I didn't gave her the flowers, y'all. And she just dumped them in here. I said, you need to cut the flowers. I don't know why we got to cut them. They nice. Man, I really like I really like the red ones. And yeah, the I don't know if these flowers going to last. And I'm mad because I'm a bunch of costs. 
I wish what they did, especially when you spend a certain amount of money, I feel like they should have the vase. Like have a vase, like have the option to have a vase. They don't have a damn vase. They like, too much. They don't come to pick flowers, not get a vase. Y'all better have a well, vase I at have home. A vase too. But well, these are tulips, y'all, and I pick. <laughs> she went and picked them today. Uh huh. Y'all feel so well. They look nice. They got the best now, cause baby didn't. She, she yeah, she did what she did. Y'all know me. I'ma slice them up, cut them. Y'all, I put them in some water. Try to you know piece them together <laughs> and make sure they cute and stuff. That's me. Not baby. She gonna get to the point. Yeah. That's it. Hi, child. But I ain't child. I ended up going to Sephora and picking up the big one. I went to Sephora. Yeah. So yeah, that's I what I have on. Too. You was what? Yeah. You was in Sephora today. No, you was a scrub. Like you probably like a scrub. Why? So, y'all, she's so. She said she don't know how me and be getting taken to work. I'm, I'm hollering. See, I ended up getting the number two. Uh, love it, y'all. That's what I have underneath my eyes. And when I say, yeah, butter, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to kind of play around with it. But anyway, I had a margarita. It was a peach margarita. And it was really, really good. The restaurant was okay. But I think it was the area. Like, they wasn't too friendly with good customer service. Um... But we was in the country. But I had a good time. I, I had a good time. Um, we picked tulips. It was cold as shit, y'all. Like, I'm so glad I wore what I wore. Because if I had a short dress on, it would have been over. I would not have been able to bend over. So, yeah. And I think I told you guys the price of them. It was $6 to entry. $2.50 per tulip. So, yeah, that shit adds up. It adds up. But, okay. Thank y'all for watching. I will hit you guys sometime. Is this the ending of this vlog? Now, this may be the ending of the vlog. Sunday. What I'm doing Sunday? I might. I don't know what I'm doing. I know I need to finish this vlog. I need to edit a vlog. Um, I need to work on that. And I need to start prepping for Gloss Day. But I need to actually post stuff for Gloss. You know, restock. So, there's a lot going on this week. So, I'm probably going to be in and out. But I'm sure I'm going to pick up the camera because that's what we do. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to like this video. Um, thumbs up as well as subscribe if you have not. Go ahead and tap that all bell. But no, tap that all bell to be notified, y'all. I'm sleepy. Like I'm so sleepy. I've been up to like six something in the morning. I'm tired. So I will hit you guys. Do <laughs> not a scrub, <laughs> y'all. I'll hit you this week. I don't know. The weeks have been a blur, and I always just feel like that because I'm just busy, like kind of, you know checking off my list constantly so i think that's what it is but if you guys are interested in seeing what i got going on this week please stay tuned stay watching i'll tell y'all when we get in the car hey y'all just got back from doing a um a chest x-ray and i think in an mri but i'm with another doctor oh yeah so I ain't told y'all because I haven't been vlogging. Today is Tuesday, which is typically the day that I start my vlog. Short of breath. Y'all remember I was saying that I was short of breath. I think it was Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. Uh, so I'ma talk it. So I'ma talk to you guys, but I'm if I if you see me catching my breath, I'm catching my breath, okay? So I ended up going to the doctor. They did a EKG, they did a screening. My oxygen levels is low. But the doctor prescribed me um a muscle relaxer. And she refilled my prescription for my asthma pump. So I will go pick that up um, probably tomorrow. It's just frustrating when you like know things is wrong with your body. But it's like, what is it? Like, what is it? Like, I just, I was supposed to be filming today, y'all. I'm so disappointed in myself. But I'm trying to work on not being disappointed in myself. Because I just know that, okay, Monet, like, if, at the end of the day, if you don't be here, you ain't going to be able to get no work done. So, like. <laughs> you got to pick and choose. Um, they told me to come back in two days. They gave me a muscle relaxer as well, which I'm probably not going to take just because I need to knock some shit out. I got stuff to do. I literally just came on here to share my damn car salad for Wendy's. Okay, Th that's really all I came on here for. Baby, have y'all tried this salad? This is a, this is a second salad? Mm -hmm. A third? Second. Okay, yeah, because the first time I ate half of it, but this time I don't got really much to go on the side. I got little nuggets, but I'm going to eat my salad. But I was able to eat off of this twice 
last time and it was really really good so if you're eating something with it you can kind of take some of it out put some on your plate you know save your little coins and eat your salad for the next day um yes she do not like wendy salad i love they caesar the caesar if you're looking at calories though i the caesar is gonna be the girl because the caesar i think is like 200 and maybe 80 calories that's the egg protein you got the bacon so uh, yeah and then of course the chicken so yeah y'all this yeah go, if you haven't go check it out that's all i came on this one yeah, and she said she like it more than Chick-fil-A salad, y'all. The cob one, so. And it does. It definitely tastes better. I really wish that Chick-fil-A could put their chicken on top of this. And we would have a masterpiece. Oh, my play, my play about the board and five. Yo, she finna, uh, oh, let me get myself. Y'all ain't got no clothes on. Let you me. Got the ticket? Yeah, sure I put it up there. Hold on, y'all. Oh, uh, y'all, look at baby. Her ass leaving to go to the airport. Oh. Y'all, she heading out. Five in the morning. I'm gonna take my ass back home and try to get some sleep and get in this bed. So, ugh. you girl did not throw no wig or nothing. I just came outside, baby, in her pajamas, honey. I was yeah. Oh, child, let me have to get home. I'll talk to you guys later on today. I gotta change that clock in the kitchen because it be having me all the way to up. Um, but I'm actually, I just finished doing some lashes and I'm getting ready to do these highlighters. I wanted to show you guys the lash books. Um, I'm getting ready to restock. Oh, it is closed. But yeah, it's a loose highlighter, but it does have a scepter, so keep them off of the rose. But I love it like in the summertime because I have like my body oils and stuff and I use it on my body. I like just to add that extra bronze, you know, and I would use it like for my, when, when I did makeup, I would use it for my client's eyeshadow. This box is messy. The girl is tired a little bit. Like I'm not as tired as I was last night because yesterday I was so tired. Um, but I'm tired still. Like I ended up waking up at four or something. I, I threw my SD card in the trash. Like... I was so tired, like I was trying to put it in my camera and I ended up like I was throwing stuff away, you know, like just grabbing a whole bunch of stuff and it was in my hand. Threw it to the bottom of the trash can, y'all. When I say I had to transfer trash cans to go through the trash to make sure I could find my SD card, I was like, girl, wake up. So dropped baby off at the airport, it was like five something and came back home. Okay, right. It took me a minute to go back to sleep. But went back to bed to only get woken up at 8 a.m. Because they, the, the apartments across the way had the nerve to have a tree chomper. I don't know what you call them things, but you know them machines where like you throw something in it and it just disintegrates it? It was one of those. But it was connected to a truck. I was like, what the fuck is that noise? Literally woke me out of my sleep. And... It's something about getting woke up after sleep. Number one, that shit make you angry as fuck. Okay? First of all, you be confused. Your heart be fucking palpitating. Like, it's it's, it's too much. Like, I hate it. I hate that feeling. What I want to eat. Ugh. And babe, she is going to Chicago. She's, um, her friend picked her up. Girl, her friend was late an hour. <laughs> Oh, child, I was like, if y'all don't know, Bishop, she's a stickler for time. Like, she a stickler for time, honey. Like, you, she like to be on time. All right, y'all, so these are the last books that I have um, left. 
Uh, I will not be restocking these. So these are your last chance to get these. Um, these does this does consist of five lashes. So it looks like these. So yeah. So start from the smallest to the from the shortest to the longest. And these two are the longest. I typically don't wear these unless I'm like going out. You know, like if it's like nighttime, like like that, and I want to be like extra dramatic. Um, but these two were my daily ones that I would wear. These three, honestly, vacation when I went to Jamaica, I wore these. Hopefully, I remember and I put like a snippet in there, y'all. I really like these two. These though. So the first three for me is like my I would go grab first. But if I wanted length, it's gonna be the last two. So yeah, you get five lashes which is bomb they all make lashes so definitely having like some really hard decisions to make lately in regarding my business and my brand you guys and oh with heavy heart like i'm with heavy heart but i'm just praying that this um that this restock goes well take advantage girl take advantage i went to target to go get my meds now, I got there right at 801, and baby, they was closed up, so I had to go back tomorrow. Did y'all believe that I literally came home and grabbed me some nuggets from McDonald's and a smoothie and stuff? I have not eaten it all day, and I didn't realize it until I was like, I don't even know what I want, because the only thing I'm craving has been, like, I want broccoli and um, beef. beef. I can't even talk beef and broccoli. Child, my ass got in here. I was talking to baby, and I was like, I'm nauseous. Like, I'm just nauseous. Y'all, why I'm on the toilet? From the mouth and from the back. So I'm just gonna lay down, I'm gonna put some laundry in real quick and just lay down and kind of just like try to sit still. Hey y'all, good morning. Well, it's actually afternoon, but hey. Today was actually the first day that I got up and was feeling a little bit better, but I also have to run errands. And I, but I have a lot of stuff that I need to do, but I'm gonna try to rest today. So um, first things first, I need to go to the post office, y'all. The post office, they are so lazy here. Forgot my package. I mean, I know they did. They never delivered it and said that they came by, which was a lie because I was sitting here all day that day working on a vlog. If you have not, check out the, well, it's not even a sale. Check out the restock. Um, I restocked, you guys, and um, yeah. I've decided that this is my, not my last restock, but this is the restock for a while. So whatever's left is left. Um, I just need a break, y'all. I'm so exhausted. Um, and my body is telling me that. And I'm just having so many other medical issues that I just need a moment for me. And I'm going to still vlog because that this is my primary. This is my job. I have to do this. You know, I mean, I don't have to, but you know what I mean? Like, this is my job. So I want to still be able to show up in the capacity that I'm able to, but I'm tired of extending myself. And I love, you know, NCD Luxury Co. Like, that is my baby. Like, I really do. And it took me a long time to get to this point. I'm even most shocked that I'm even talking about it without crying because I've literally been in therapy probably for the last two, three months really trying to wrap my head around this and what this looks like for me because I know a lot of you guys you know depend on my products and you guys have purchased from me multiple times and I'm just grateful like I'm grateful but I also understand and I want you guys to understand that these small businesses and small business businesses like me you know we depend on we depend on our customers so much and I just didn't do the work that I needed to do as far as like stacking up on the back end because I don't have any help. There's no one helping me with inventory. Like I don't have it. I've applied for like loans and stuff like that. Um, I'm mean, sorry, not loans, but grants. Um, and I just wasn't successful. I haven't been successful, let me say that. Not to say that I'm not going to try other grants, you know, but in this space right now. I just have not been able to get any grants. Um, a lot of the grants, honestly, want you to already be making, you know, 50000 a year to 100000 a year. And for a small business, that's just not realistic. So it's kind of like they want you to help yourself completely before they even offer you any help. So um, that has been my struggle for the last, honestly, year and a half. And I am at this point where I've depleted what I have. Like, you know, I saved up and I've depleted it. And... 
I just need to figure out some things, y'all. What I like, I'm so sad. Like, it makes me so sad, you guys. Like, it really does because I put my all, like, literally put my all into it. I put money from me being paid myself, you know, sliding it over. You know, that's what you're supposed to do with your business is your baby. So, to see that, you know, this last um, restart didn't do as well as I would like it to. I can't lie, like I wasn't at my 100% best because I was just going through medical issues. I have been for the last few years, but your girl is pushing nonetheless. And I'm, I'm proud of myself that I was able to go four years. Four years with no help, four years on savings, you know, but I have to, you know, focus on me right now and stack up, you know, like get back focus, work on my um, financial um, aspects for my personal as well because I told you guys I'm trying to get my credit under control um, I need to actually do work on business credit it's just a lot of things that I need to do and I've been the only one trying to figure this out and I don't have the help I don't have you know I don't have any um, person that's in my life that is business oriented in that sense that can give me that many tips and to open me up to opportunities and options right now so Honestly, you guys, I'm really like trying not to cry, but I'm just giving it to God. Cause I told God, like, if it's meant, it'll be, it will come back better than ever. But as of right now, this is sort of my goodbye. Temporary, temporarily. See you later. Yeah, it's it's just temporary. Cause I have to keep telling that to myself because. I see it as quitting almost. Y'all try not to cry. I see it as quitting almost. And I mean, I know I'm not quitting. You know what I mean? But that's just how I see it. And so I'm just trying to reframe my mind. And that's why I keep saying it's just temporary, Monet. It's just temporary. I love you guys. Thank y'all so much for, you know, riding with me and supporting NCD Luxury Co. this far. I'm not closing as of yet. I'm just letting you know that this is the last time right now as of right now until i figure out some things um you know i just need to figure out my direction um or maybe this is the redirection but so i want to go into dollar tree real quick i just want to see if they have this um i need these spoons and i use these spoons for um like so when i make my glosses because i don't know if y'all knew this but i actually like hand make them they're like vegan and yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just came in here to see if they have these. This Dollar Tree look all spread out and stuff. Oh, I got the Easter candy. They say time this boy Anthony right here. He said, "Listen, I'm on the tricks. We got a whole lot of tricks. You got a whole lot of tricks, and I wanna see what you do." Say that you've been noticing he ain't me. He'll fly you out, made you angry, girl. Just slow that it get better by time. Good job. That was quick. So they didn't have what babe was wanting. So I ended up getting everything else. And I'm so pissed because the spoons that I needed, the Dollar Tree don't even have. So I'm going to try one more Dollar Tree because it's like right down the street. If they don't have it, then I don't know. I'm going to have to just find some other spoons to just do what I need to do. So yeah, I'm a little annoyed by that. Because normally I can find them, but I don't know if it has a lot to do with the Dollar Tree starting to shut down. Um, I just saw that. Yeah, I went to a different Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm going to make a way for the piss. Yeah, I love that mega song. I was trying to see if the lights that I was looking for, you know those puff lights, you guys? I've been trying to figure out if I wanted to go get them off of Amazon because they do include the battery. But I'm just like, they don't look the same and that's going to bother me. Like, when shit is not like like uniform in a sense, like that shit annoys me. So I'm trying to see if I can find a five below that does actually have it. And then that is it, I'm done. I was able to find the spoons that I wanted 
I didn't find the bowls, but I still found the spoons, picked up my package, went to Aldi. So I knocked out the three main things that I needed to do today. Um, and now I'm gonna go home and honestly probably make me some lunch. I'm trying not to eat out because I just haven't been in the mood. And last week I ate like a salad like three times out. And I was just like, you know, at the end of the day, like, I don't want to be eating outside like that. Like, I like to go out to eat when we go out. But I'm not a fast food eat out type of girl. I'm a girl that I prefer my own food. Um, I prefer my own cooking. I don't like to cook. Of course, I don't want to have to cook. But, I mean, how else am I going to eat? <laughs> so, um, I mean, yeah. I'd rather me cook my food and me be able to get, you know, exactly what I want than you know, go somewhere and I'm paying my money. Cause baby, if Monet pays her hard earned money and I be having my craving and it don't come out the way I want it, or you didn't fucked up my shit, I be having a fucking attitude. I, I will have an attitude. So I'm just on that. Like, I'm just like, uh, I'm annoyed about all, all the food choices. I don't really, I don't really want nothing other than beef and broccoli. Oh yeah, finally got back in the house. I'm gonna start some lunch. Oh yeah, I bought me some strawberries from all these. I hope that they really good. Yeah, these are the third pack of strawberries that I have bought that I have not ate. And I'm really in the space of I had cleaned out the refrigerator what what was it? I think a few days ago, maybe yesterday. I was just kinda like throwing some stuff out. And I told babe, I said we waste a lot of food. And I'm just not in the space of being wastefulness or just being wasteful. I definitely want God to bless me with more. It's on me. It's three. You know what? I got one of them hydration things in here. Oh, excuse me. It's these liquid IVs. I drink the strawberry one, but I really like... Oh, I got to pick up some more. But I really like this for my day-to-day. -day. I only got three. Wait. Oh, yeah. I got to restock. I only got three more. These are the ones that I really like. Like, for film. Like, when I'm having, like, a long film day and I know I'm going to have to get a lot of work done, these. This works. It literally like spikes me up. Um, this is the chicken that I like to use. Um, it's the chicken fajitas. I normally get ours from Sam's because it's just cheaper. You can get like a two pack if you got a Sam's card. But and I feel like they give you more anyway. Like when I get it from Walmart, I don't feel like I get as much meat. But love this in like a salad, like a homemade salad. I love this for like my quesadillas. So you can like crush it up. Like, it's a really, really good, but we're going to use this for the fajita bowl, so. No matter what you say or what you do, when I'm alone, I'd rather be with you. Fuck these other niggas, I'll be right by your side till 2005. Okay, hold up, no, wait a minute, all good, just a week ago, at my house. Party every weekend, so on the radio, that's my favorite song. Make me bounce around like I don't know, like I won't be here long. Now the thrill is gone, got no patience, cause I'm not a doctor. Go, why is you lying? Girl, why you Mufasa? Yeah, me, Casa Sukasa. Got it strip it like Gaza. Got so high on volcanoes, now the flow is so lava. Yeah, we spit that saliva. iPhone got message from Viber. Either the head is so hydra, or we live by God, by God. My God, you pay for your friends. I'll take that as a compliment. Got a house full of homies. So the opposite, incompetent ain't the half of it Saturdays with young lavish, just sad as shit is I'm bad as beast they took from the cabinet Sorry, Sorry. I'm just scared of the future Till 2005, I got your back when you do this Hold up No matter what you say or what you do When I'm alone, I'd rather be with you Fuck these other niggas, I'll be right back your side Till 2005, hold up Hold up Hold up Hold up Hold up Hold up so yeah, I made my little uh, lunch, y'all. And honestly, I just don't have a taste for nothing. So I made me a little bowl. Tonight I'm making some... Um, 
small pork ribs with a kale salad. I haven't been heavy on um, carbs, but when I work out, y'all, I be so hungry that I do fuel my body with carbs. Like I do, like I'll eat. I had some popcorn the other day. Like I try to eat stuff like that or like apples and you know, stuff like just fruits. I've been craving some fruits. Like I really want fruit. So I'm just like, okay, my man, like you're gonna have to go in the store. I want some grapes. Um, I'm thinking about starting back, like, making my own smoothies. Like, oh, I used to make it with, like, my almond milk and stuff. So, we'll see. But anyway, it is 3.53. I'm gonna chill for a little bit. Go ahead and schedule this video. Of course, we got to add the hot jalapenos. I'm gonna go sit down and edit this vlog. I will link it down below. And I'll talk to y'all. Thank you.